Well, hi everyone, and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I thought I would take a brief break from science denial and do some actual science. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different, and that is I'm going to take you into my workshop and I'm going to build something with you. Now, I had a pretty good response from our build of the astrolabe and the amillary sphere, so I thought I would do another build with you guys today. And that's a build of a telescope pier mount. So let's have a look at the problem that I'm trying to solve, and then let's see if we can figure out a way to solve it. This is the 10 inch mead telescope and I'm going to build a stand for it which will be a leveling stand. I'll build one for the 10 inch mead and I'm also going to build one for the refractors and the camera. So let's go out to the garage and have a look at the material. So this is my garage. It's a working garage so it's a little messy right now. But as you see I have two pillars here. I've got a formal telescope pier and that's going to be the one for the big 10 inch mead. And then I found this table base out at one of the airports and they said I could have it. And I'm gonna convert this into a telescope mount for the smaller refractors in the camera. We'll do this one first as a test of concept and then work our way over to this. Now these are some of the materials that I'm going to use. These are A36 steel discs. And I have two of them for the tabletop version. The bottom one, will be attached to the tabletop with some bolts. And then the second one will be above it, suspended by four more bolts in the north, south, east, west configuration. This tabletop does turn a little bit so that once I get it out to the site where I'm going to set it up, I'll be able to rotate it so it's aligned perfectly with true north. And then we'll be able to put the telescope on it. Now, once that one's done, I have these discs over here. These are quarter inch steel plates. One will be bolted to the top here. And the second will be suspended over it. And that will be the leveling plate. Now, once we have that on for both of the telescopes, I have some smaller steel discs that fit in the base of the telescope. Now, once we have these put together, we'll take the equatorial mount and mount it like so. Again, this will be aligned with true north and true south. Now that we know what we have to work with, let's go ahead and see if we can figure out what we want to do with it. So let's go to the drawing board and try and come up with a little bit of a design for this telescope here. Now, in order to get a good leveling mount, what we need to do is we need to start from our base and work our way up. So here is the telescope pier. Now, attached to the telescope pier on the bottom are going to be some long bolts. And those bolts will either be sunk in concrete, or in the case of the smaller pier, they're going to be lag bolts that are drilled into a stump from a locust tree I recently had taken out. So we're gonna anchor those thoroughly in the stump or in the concrete. And then we're going to have a bolt right here and right here. And what those bolts will be used for is to level this pier. So what we're gonna to want to do, of course, is get our bubble level so that it's right in the middle going up and down on these piers. Now, the next problem that we have is that we have to attach a couple of plates on top of the telescope pier. And those plates will be attached with four bolts. There'll be one at the north and one at the south. And then there'll be one here at the east and at the west. So if you look at it on a side view, we'll have the bolts that attach to the base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have north, south, 
east and west and then the telescope will be oriented in that direction. Now the way that we're going to use those four bolts to level, the leveling pier will be in two layers. There'll be a, le a metal plate on top and a metal plate attached to the base. Like the base, we will have some bolts in four locations, north, south, east, and west. And there will be a nut down here, and a nut down here, and a nut here, and a nut here. By adjusting these nuts, we can level this plate, and then we can level this plate. Now once those plates are level, we're going to put kind of like a metal disc up here that's hollow in the center. So it'll have a, a channel in the center like that. But this plate will be the base plate of the telescope. And the telescope mount will sit on that. So this will be the plate for the table stand. And this will be the lower plate. Right here, you will see the holes, these inner ones here. This is where it will attach to the base of the table. Now, with the three dots up here, this is going to be the north. South will have two dots. East will have a dot to the right of the center line. And west will have a dot to the left of the east-west line. Now, this is ready for installation. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second plate, and I'm going to put it underneath this plate. And then I'm going to use these holes right up here, the north, south, east, west holes as a template, and I'm going to drill through them to the next plate. That way I know that they'll match up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to basically dry fit this and assemble it into its final form. So in our next episode, we're going to do that drilling and then we're going to put it all together. We're going to do another episode where we're going to work on some special problems. We have to work out the traversing mechanism so we can adjust the mount left to right. And then we also need to work on clearance issues. So for example, if we just had the two plates up, we couldn't raise the scope up to the zenith because the back end of it would hit the plate. So we're going to have to work out some sort of a pillar arrangement to put that together. And we'll work through those problems, and then we'll start working on the big mount. Now the steel that I purchased for this project ran me about $50. Now, I also bought a drill press for about $150. It wasn't anything special, but it's something that I'll be able to use for years, so it's well worth the investment. If I were to purchase this mount on the commercial market, it would run me approximately $600. Because this is something that I can build in my garage, I can save that money. I can also build things like counterweights to balance the telescope, which are not only expensive, they're simply unavailable on the market right now. I'm going to go ahead and make my own. They're going to be ugly, but they're going to work. So until then, this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. I'll see you again on the next build.